Welcome to this Play Out One video. Hello, my name is Dave Briley Jones. Today we're looking at hooks and how Play Out One can help give your station that little pizzazz. If you've in the past spent ages, almost sometimes on a daily basis, making music promos of the new music that's around so you can play uh, those little promos on your radio station, then Play Out One's going to help you out big time today. Um, it's going to be something that you're going to go to and go, wow, that sounds amazing. And we're going to show you how to do it in this short video. Before we start, if this is the first video you've watched, then welcome along. Uh, please do subscribe. We have loads of videos on our YouTube channel. Just go to youtube.com slash playout1 and subscribe. And there you will find other videos just like this one that are going to help you along the way. So let's start then by saying, what is a hook? Well, a hook is a piece of uh, a song that when you hear it, you go, oh, that's that song. So if I was to say to you, the hook of Lionel Richie's Dancing on the Ceiling, unfortunately, YouTube will not allow me to play it because the video will be taken down due to copyright reasons. So I'm going to sing it to you. Okay, please turn the speakers down. So if I said to you, Lionel Richie, Dancing on the Ceiling, um, you would probably go, oh yeah, I know that song. It's the one that goes, oh, what a feeling when you're dancing on the ceiling. You know the one, yeah? Okay, if you don't know Lionel Richie's Dancing on the Ceiling, you must know Elton John's Rocket Man. Rocket Man! And I don't know the rest of the words. So those are hooks. Generally, I always used to say, hooks last between maybe three and seven seconds. That's it. You just want a little snippet of the song just to give your audience a little, a little jolt. Oh, yeah, that song. Oh, okay, fantastic. And the way that we use them in Play Out 1... What we do is we build what we call a hook next command. And you can see there's one actually coming up on the screen. And the hook next command allows you to say, okay, play out one. I want you to build a sequence of events. So I want you to go and look at the next three songs or next five songs or next 10 songs, however many you want. In this instance, it's three. Go and look at the next three songs and I want you to play the hooks so that we get this little montage. And you can say, as we're gonna see in a minute, um, you can say in between each hook, I want a sound effect. So when we go from one hook, we get this and then another hook. Or you don't have to have that. You can just have them running into each other. Uh, you can say at the start, I want you to play this cart. So in this instance, we have a coming up next on classic hits. And then it goes into the, uh, the first hook. And then you can also say at the end of the, uh, the sequence, I want you to play this cart. These songs will be here in moments on classic hits. You know, something, whatever you want. And we have many customers across the world utilizing this. It's uh, very, very useful in the CHR markets when you've got lots of new music coming onto the station. So you can have a hook maybe before a commercial break that says new music on Kiss coming up next. And then it picks, you know, certain songs from the new music category or new music type that are coming up in the log. So there's plenty ways to uh, slice the cake, as I like to say. First, though, we need to look at how do we actually set a hook? And the way that we set a hook, we can either do it in Play Out One itself, or you can use WebVT as well. So let's go and have a look how we do this in Play Out One. Uh, so let's go find a song we all know and love. We all love the Beatles, right? Of course we do. Uh, hey Jude. So here is Hey Jude on the screen in front of us. And you can see that we've marked the hook of this song because there is these two blue lines right here. You see these two blue lines? One, well, the first one is the hook in, and the second one is the hook out. So the way that we set a hook is we listen to the song. Um, I know you can't hear this. If I were to give you the song, Mr. McCartney would probably complain to YouTube. Play out one's playing my songs again, and we'd be taken down. So unfortunately, you'll just have to trust my judgment. So I'm hearing the, uh, the Beatles song here. And you now this is a tricky one. And <laughs> there's not always an obvious hook in a song. That's also another thing to know. You know, I'm hearing the na, 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 na. Come on, hey, ju, 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 you know. So I'm going to set it here. So I'm going to go hook in there. I don't know who set this hook before, but I don't agree with them. And then I'm just going to go there. And now I've got my hook. So to review my hook, I can hit Q. And that takes me back to the hook in. Am I, am I feeling that? If I do shift in Q, 
it takes me just before the marker. So Shift and Q. Yeah, that's good. And then here's the hook out. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. So that's how you set a hook. And you do the same in WebVT. If you have edit audio access, then you can simply go into a cart. And again, you use the hook in and the hook out. Now, of course, this is going to take you a while to go through your database. Well, it may not do. If you've only got 10 songs on rotation, it'll take you next to no time. If you've got a large library, it's going to take you a little while. What I recommend in that instance is you start at the A's. So use artist, sort it A to, A to Z in the, uh, in the media finder and try and do all of the A's on one day, all of the B's on another day. And that way you're breaking it up. Don't try and do them all at once because you'll be so bored and sick of it. You'll go, oh, I'm not doing this. This is a pain in the backside. So split it up into little tasks and that way, you know, you'll have some fun with it and you won't get sick of it. So I'm going to save that now. And that's how we set our hooks. So let's say we've done all that now. How do we actually schedule what we call a, a hook next command? And we've actually got one in the log here. So I'm going to roll down here. And I'm going to go to the next hour so I can show you. We've got plenty of them. We love them. So it all starts by building the command. So what we're going to do is let's just start here. I'm going to right click on the log. And I'm going to go to uh, insert. And we're going to choose the command hook next. And this is where we get our hook next window. Now, what this is saying to us, okay, how many hooks do you want to start with? So three is a good number, you know, four is okay. Any more than that, to me, it's a bit overkill. Uh, I don't want to really tell the audience every song that's coming up. So I'm just going to give them a little teaser. Uh, the next item or the next selection we need to make is, okay, what do you want me to hook? Which types do you want me to hook? Well, in this database, I'm not going to hook production. It's going to be songs. Now, if you've got a new music um, type and you only want to hook the new music songs on your station, then create a type called new music, assign all the songs into there, and then you can select it here. Now, the order says, okay, so we get our three hooks. What do you want? What? When do you want? When? How do you want me to play those hooks? I'll get it out eventually. We can either have the songs in order. So song A, B, and C, that's how you hear them. You can have the items in reverse, so song C, B, and A. Or we can just totally randomize it and you, uh, you get a different order each time. I like the item in reverse. I like the audience to hear the last hook they hear. That's the next song they're going to hear. So I always like it to go C, B, A. Then we get the ad break. Then they get song A. Now here's where you can select your top UID. So uh, if we hit browse, you'll see that if I type in one, one, Five, five, three. This is our coming up next on classic hits. So this is our voiceover going coming up next on classic hits. So we want that. You then have the option to set what we call the bridge UID or the alt bridge UID. So when the hook plays for song A and then it's going to go to song B, we can choose to have something inserted in the middle there. A little sound effects, a little voiceover saying and this. And then when it goes from song B to C, you could have an alt bridge if you want. So you could have a voiceover going, and this. Or you don't have to. You can just have the bridge UID and it will use the same one. And then finally, at the end, you've got the tail UID. And the tail UID essentially finishes it all off. So you can have stay there, more in moments, or whatever you want to have, you know. You don't have to have anything. We don't have anything, but that's how you, how you set it up. Now, the key here is you want to save this as a command once you've set it up. And in the predefined commands window here, you'll see we've got a command for hook next. The parameters, ignore what they say. That's just the internal mumbo jumbo code for playout one. What we want to do, though, is we want to set a friendly name. So I'm just going to call this right now my hook command. I'm going to add it to the list. I'm going to hit save. So that hook is now saved in our predefined commands. So I can cancel this window off. And now what that allows me to do is, if we just go to home here, uh, we're coming to the end of the hour. It's not a very good place to do it. Let's go back to the 10 o'clock hour. After the news, we can now, if we right click on the log, choose insert, predefined command. 
my hook command. There it is. So we can select it. And you'll see it's got a length on it. So it's now got 14 seconds. That's because it's found the hooks for the next three items. So it's probably going to play Simply Red, Mark Ronson, Philip Bailey, and Phil Collins in that order. Now, if you change the songs around, that's absolutely fine. Play out one will recalculate the hook uh, command on the fly for you. So it's, it's really good in that respect. Now, we've got a little time before this comes around. So let's just talk about how we actually schedule this. It's all well and good setting it up as a predefined command, but... Really, we don't want to be dropping it in every time we want to call it. So let's talk about scheduling it. As it's a pro-only feature, you're going to want to schedule this in your music scheduler. And we've got two here. If we go and look at Music Master, all we would do, let's go build a new clock in Music Master. So we go new clock. Give it a clock ID. We'll call it 45, 45. I don't know why I chose 45. I just like the number. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to insert a, uh, a new log note. So if I go here and we go and uh, find log note. And then literally in here, we're just going to type the name of our command, the friendly name. So if I go to the uh, command manager, my hook command is what we want. So I'm going to hit copy, control C. Uh, oh, there they are. If you're a regular to the YouTube videos, you know I live literally across the road from a fire station. So we got, what was that? That was about 10 minutes we got before we had one. So here it comes. See you later, boys. Thanks. There they go. Place isn't burning down. Another cat stuck, stuck up a tree. So let's then uh, paste into there my hook command. Simple as that. That's how you schedule it in Music Master. And that's how you schedule any command in Music Master for Play Out 1. You just type the the name of the command in here. If we want to do it in music one, again, if we just go and build our clock, so let's go to a format clock here. So I'm going to go back to categories and I'm going to go back to formats and we'll just create a very, very quick basic clock. So here's our test clock. We're going to hit the little yellow pie slice and we're going to choose a special player command. There it is. Right click and choose properties. And if it's not already set on custom, select custom. And then from the player tab, again, we just paste in our command like so. So that's how you schedule your command in Music One and Music Master. So where are we up to? Okay, so um, we've still got a little time here. Look, no one's going to be listening. So let's just delete some of these. This is classic kit. It's, it's our demo station. Dan Parker from our uh, support team likes to have it on, so we may uh, freak out. I mean, just here's all this. So what we'll do is um, I'm going to be try and be sneaky, and I'll try and give you the audio so you can hear how this sounds, but I'll probably have to talk over it just so YouTube doesn't take us down. They're very aggressive. Um, and we've got a hook next there, so we don't want that. Let's take that out. But let's just make this nice and clean, shall we? Let's just... Take all that out. Goodbye. So we're literally going to go from Robbie Williams here. She's the one. Straight to our hook next command. Awesome. Okay, so uh, I'm going to drop it here. I'm going to move it down so you can see what happens. So what will happen is the hook command will run, and you'll see at the bottom of the log window, you'll see those, uh, those hooks playing. And... Once they finish playing, it will then move on to the next item, which in this case is Easy Lover, Philip Bailey and Phil Collins. Quick note to mention that the hooks do play out of the mix player. So make sure you've selected your mix player device. Sometimes that can be set incorrectly if you've just set up the system, because not many people set it. But if you want your hooks to uh, air on the air, then you'll need to make sure that that device has been set. So 30 seconds here, I'm gonna take a slurp of coffee. And now there's a car alarm going off outside. I thought, you know what? No one's going to be around at 10 a.m. on a Saturday. I'll, I'll sneak in a quick video here. Here we go. So you see that Phil Collins and uh, Philip Bailey's loaded up in the car player. But we're going to get the hooks first. And uh, here they come, ladies and gentlemen. Here they come. All right. Hi. 
So there comes the uh, the coming up on classic hit, simply red. Mark Ronson, Amy Winehouse, great song. Finally, Phil Collins and Philip Bailey, and then bang into the song. So that's how it works. That's how it works. Pretty cool, eh? Pretty cool. Obviously, the hook next command is only as good as the hooks you've set on each individual item. It's uh, it's not going to be able to do all that for you automatically. But once you do set the hooks, this sounds amazing. It really does. It sounds so so cool. So that's how you do your little coming up next hook command. One more thing I'm going to show you. If you have the quick keys and you drag, for example, a song, what you can do in the quick keys is you can actually say in the edit key, just play the hook. And you can see that's now gone down to six seconds for Hey Jude. So you can always, if you're doing a competition, you're doing a guess the song, something like that, you can say, what's this song? And it will just play the hook for you over and over. Simple as that. So I hope that's been useful. Hope that's been uh, a little insight into hooks and how they can be used. If you have any questions, then please do not hesitate to email support at playout1.com. If you're not yet a member of the Facebook community group, lots and lots of help in there. Fantastic community. Do register. Just go onto facebook.com, search for the Playout One community group, and you'll find lots of insights into there. And as I mentioned at the start of this video, if this is your first video, you're not subscribed, please do so. Go to youtube.com slash playout1. Thanks for watching. See you very soon.